what is it that keeps you thinking about this person his demeanor his way there's something about him is he here he's not in the room no and yet his behavior his demeanor is still occupying your mind yes and I don't know well it's law of attraction law of attraction is just giving you the things that you commonly think about but as you get a little distance between you so that the condition is not so active where you almost can't avoid it you could start thinking about some other things and as you think about some other things they can become more dominant you only have so many hours in a day so much broadcasting on so many subjects so is it possible for you to find other things other than that to think about yes and I do so much more than I used to I used to obsessively so think what about. do you think the hooks are what are the hooks all about um, so are you telling us that this is a relationship that you want to return to or this is a relationship that you're happy to be rid of you know that's kind of the thing I feel as if that relationship has brought me more clarity about the type of man I would like to be with him. there's many aspects of him that I enjoyed so we talk about this vortex this vibrational reality does it feel to you that any one person or specifically this person is the path of least resistance for your desires to be fulfilled through I'm not quite sure does it feel to you that of all of the things that this relationship has caused you to desire does it feel like moving back into that relationship is the path of least resistance to fulfilling all of those desires no you feel sure about that we can feel that from you and you said something earlier that lets us know that too so what do you think it is that causes you to keep looking back we'll tell you what it is okay cool. and you're not alone in this yeah. almost everybody does something like this but it's that the manifestations seems more is more real because there's more to see and more to hear and more to taste and smell and touch in other words the physical reality feels dominant to you that's why yeah. we spend so much time wanting to convince you that the physical reality is not dominant the non-physical reality is dominant and that if you can get your attention there that it will morph into an improved physical reality you just can't get there from there you cannot look at a segment of life whether it's a personality of someone or whether it's a relationship that you had you can't spend your time looking at the specifics of that and at the same time harmonizing with the expansion that you've made because of that yes. and that's why the hooking in is so strong because the very person hear this this is really a powerful and important thing to understand the very person that has given you the bounce that has caused the expansion that has contributed so mightily to this new you to this new vortex to this powerful evolved you is also the person that's keeping you from moving to exactly. it yes yes and so if you could be a better selective sifter and we're not putting you down for how you're doing because everyone sort of observes but if you could be a better selective sifter if you could look into the details of that relationship and just remember the parts you really liked yeah. then those parts that active vibration could then move you more quickly into a place where this vortex is manifesting into something else that is pleasing but because there's both wanted and unwanted in that vibration when you go there for the good stuff you often find the not good stuff too yes. and we want to say it again it is so natural and normal that the very person that caused you to take the bounce would be some place that you want to keep looking but it is counterproductive so this is where what we have to say to you can really be of benefit if you can hear us when we say in a very general sense appreciate this person for the new relationship he helped you to create and just leave it at that reality the person the sex the memory of that is more tangible and therefore temporarily more appealing to you than the dream than the essence than the emotion but this is what we want all of you to get over because your what is is keeping you from your what can be 
Yeah. You have to let go of the past. And we want to call present manifestation the past in order to move to what you have already become. You want us to tell you the name and address of your new partner. Yes. And in doing so, we would only be providing another condition for you to fixate on. Mm -hmm. We want you to find the feeling of that and feel such satisfaction in the current uncondition of that, that you allow yourself the delicious, really glorious experience of being in a vibrational place where an impulse or a thought occurs to you that leads you to what you are wanting. Yeah. And this time, unlike the last time, what you will be led to will be pleasing in all of those ways, not just in some ways. Do you see him? Clearly. Not the old guy, the new guy. Well, we are good at ignoring your vibration. So we're not seeing the old guy. Oh. Either one of them. We're seeing the new. Yes. That's who I'm really interested in. <laughs> thankfully. And I want to get rid of the... But you see, your focus <laughs> contradicts that statement. I know. <laughs> because if that were true, you'd be looking more here and less there. Yeah. And so there's this human thing about justifying this by bashing that. I deserve something better than that. But the whole time you're doing that, you're getting that. You're holding yourself there. So it helps to feel appreciation. And you said the words, you help me to know more clearly what I do want. You help me to know more clearly. And now I know more clearly. So let's turn this into an unconditional conversation for just a little while. Tell us what it feels like to be in this relationship that you prefer. What would that feel like? What does that feel like? What does it feel like when you go there? It feels resonance and easy and comfortable and home now these are really good words and your vibration harmonizes with them in other words we don't feel resistance within you while you present yourself in that way give us more juicy and now you went to juicy you activated some of this oh yeah that was juicy so just stay a little well the new one should be juicy too it will be yeah I know it will be <laughs> but feel how the yearning came with the latter statements that wasn't there with the earlier statements in other words feel when you start tipping when you start making it more conditional than unconditional we get it why you all want to rush back to the condition but we want to remind you that everything that you want every condition every relationship every material object every pile of money every single thing you want every circumstance and event everything that you want to be manifest the reason you do is because you believe you will feel better in the manifestation of it and we're not trying to dissuade you from that we're just wanting to show you the path of least resistance to it because when you fixate on something that has a whole bag of mixed energy in it it slows you down in the process toward what you want so if you can avoid doing that yeah. just for a little while by focusing upon the feeling of freedom the feeling of friendship the feeling of appreciation the feeling of focusing the feeling of discovery the feeling of adventure the feeling of new the feeling of fun the feeling of good conversation mm -hmm. the feeling of abundance and prosperity and stability oh stability the feeling of stability the feeling of homecoming the feeling of right place right time right person mm -hmm. the feeling of wholeness the feeling of completeness the feeling of synergy the feeling of energy the feeling of alignment the feeling of friendship the feeling of homecoming the feeling of well-being the feeling of natural the feeling of normalcy in other words as you come into alignment with what you've created now you were with us and with us and with us and with us and then a lonely feeling sort of swept over you so this is what we're talking about you just got to keep finding that feeling and when lonely comes find that feeling when lonely comes find that feeling when lonely comes find that feeling and before long you'll be so solidly there enough of the time not all of the time enough of the time not all of the time enough of the time that the fulcrum will tip and the impulse will be there and someone will come into your experience and you will both know.